In this video, I'm going to present to you a live demonstration of an advanced ready-to-use super app development solution. It's a complete multi-service app solution that includes customer app, admin panel, dispatcher panel. For now I will be covering the dispatcher panel of super apps. I covered the admin panel in my previous video to watch that click on the link shown on the top right side of the screen. In this we will cover how the dispatcher panel works. To get access to the dispatcher panel you first have to log in the dispatcher panel with login credentials shared by admin. Once you logged in you will redirect to the dispatcher panel where on the top left side you can see the logo of the dispatcher. Then we have a section of home and home we have a subsection of dashboard where you can view all the offline online assigned and unassigned tasks with the name of the agents in satellite view. Next we have a section of customer where you can see the total number of customers, active customers and inactive customers. If you want to add a new customer you have to click on the add customer button, fill out the details and click on the submit button. The customer will be reflected here. You can export the data of the customers in a CSV file from here. If you want to view the details of a particular customer you can view it with their name, email, phone number, status and all other details. Next we have a section of routes, from here you can view the pending assignment, active orders, active customers, and active agent. You can clear the data by clicking on this button, and from here you can upload the data in a file format. You can view the details of a particular order with order number, customer ID, phone number, due time and all other details. Next you have a driver accountancy from where you can view the payment checkouts of drivers with the details like order no, delivery boy ID, name, phone number, driver cost, commission and all other details. We can view particular driver's details by name and agent. Next we have a section of settings under which we have a sub-action of profile, from where you can change the logo, name, email, company address, country, time zone, password. To save all these details, you have to click on the update button after filling out all the details. Then from the customize section you can customize agent name, currency, pickup name, drop off, contact us details, units either its metric or imperial, date format, time format. You can also customize completion proofs for pickup and drop off like image, signature, notes OTP, face proof to enable a particular type you simply have to click on the enable button and it will be enabled. Next we have teams from where we can view teams by name, location, team strength. If you want to edit or delete particular you can do it from here. And if you want to add a new team you have to click on the add team button, fill out the required details and click on the submit button. Likewise if you want to view the details of managers you can view that from here with their name, email, and phone. If you want to add a new manager click on this button fill out the details and click on the submit button. Next we have an agent section. From here you can view the total number of agents, freelancers, employees, approved agents and unapproved agents. You can filter agents by location and tags. If you want to add a new agent click on the button fill out the details and click on the submit button. You can view the agents with their ID, profile picture, name, phone, team, along with cash details, subscription plan and all other details. Next under the subscription section you can view all the subscription plans live on your platform, along with total subscribed agents and total subscribed agents. If you want to add a new subscription plan click on the add plan button, fill out the details, and click on the submit button. You can also view the subscription plans by its image, title, description, price, frequency and all other details. Next we have payout requests, from where you can view the total order value, pending payout value, and completed payout value. You can also export the data in a CSV file. Next we have payment options from where you can enable the required payment option you want to offer to your users. You have to click on the enable button which payment option you want to enable. Next is Geofence from where you can add a Geofence area to assign the delivery task to an agent manually. You can edit or delete a particular Geofence area from here. Next is Auto Allocation which works according to the Geofence area you selected on top. You can see acknowledgement types like Acknowledge, Accept, Reject and None. Further you can see No. Of retries applied for a particular delivery request, request expiring time, method of task allocation from here you can select that, to update all the changes made by you click on the update button. Next is pricing rules from where you can see the pricing rules. 
If you want to add a new pricing rule click on this button, fill out the details and click on the submit button. Next you have to configure from here you can select the map configuration with map type, API key, SMS, email, agents from where you can give the access to the agents like order cancelling, fleet management and others. Next we have a customer management system. First we have pages where you can edit the terms and conditions which are reflected on your customer app, you can edit the content and click on the public button. Below that we have email through which you can share templates with your users you have to enter the subject, content, and then click on the public button. Like email we have SMS from where you can send push notifications to your customers. You have to add template ID. It can be for sign up, sign in driver accepted or rejected, enter the content and then publish the content. Next you have analytics from where you can view the platform earning, agents earning, orders. You can view the agent analytics with order details of a particular day or week. You have a graphical representation of the earnings and the orders. Below that there are agents and customers with their details. Lastly we have notifications from where you can share push notifications it can be of any type like an agent started the process, it's successful, or failed. Similar to drop off. You can share it in any form either SMS or email. This is all about the dispatcher panel of the super app. If you too want to build a super app like Gajek and Karim, we can help you with that. To get in touch with us visit the link given in the description.